Yes, this is Tim Evans with windshieldrepairkits.net. We're going to perform a 23 inch crack repair on this 11 Hyundai Sonata. Here's the crack. Started here, the big impact comes down, ends right here. So these cracks are tight at the tip, and then as you go up the crack, they gap. You see how the razor blade starts to catch in there? Now it catches more, catches more. Up in here, it's really going to catch. So that's why we need to use a multi-viscosity approach, a multi-head injector that blends the resin. So it'll go from thinner and then the resin will get thicker and thicker as we go up to the edge. Now we'll go in and film from the inside. Alright, and from the inside you can see it quite a bit easier. Follow it all the way up to the top and back. All right, and on these cracks, you're going to want to repair or, or start your drilling in front of the crack about 2 16 of an inch. And when you're drilling, you don't want to drill down too far. If you've gone to the plastic, you've gone too far. So we're going to drill this little bit, and then we're going to tap it to create a little bullseye on the end. That'll keep that from spreading. There you go, you can see that old bullseye right there on the end. And again, this is going to go all the way up into the top. And we can't see all the way up in, on the top on the black section, but you don't want to disturb the cracks when you're re repairing them. If so, for example, me getting out of this, the weight change can stress it and create an air gap. So I won't be getting out of this while we're doing the repair. But you'll be able to see pretty much everything anyway. Now we've already preloaded the double head injector, so it's all ready to go. And when you're doing these craps, you want to use a liberal amount of grease. And you're going to pre-slide the tool all the way up. And sometimes you might need to put extra grease on there a second time if it seems to be sticking on you. And sometimes you can just re-lubricate re those suction cups with the grease that was left up in there on the pocket. So you want to make sure it flows nice and easy for you. Because if it starts to stick, you can cause more complications. Now we are zoomed up on this crack. When we're at the very end, I'll back off and show you the actual driver's perspective, or passenger's actually, because I'm on the passenger side. Because this one's long enough away, we're gonna need to be able to reach it. We're using our extension arm, which is that gold bar right there. And it just gets threaded in on top of the bridge by using two more suction cups. Just puts it on the top. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this repair. Now when you're filling your injector, you want to make sure you use plenty of resin. So you put about 10 drops into each injector head. And as we're going to go over this, this tool is going to actually mix those two resins together and change the viscosity as the crack thickens, or yeah, as it gets gappier. Okay. Now at the tip, because they are tight, like we said earlier, I'm going to have to actually get in here and actually spread the crack because it's going to be too tight for resin to flow in there freely. So he's going to be pressing in on it with his hand. And you're going to have to tell me because I can't really see it with you film if it's going, Shay. It's starting to go. Is it okay? Good. As you can see, it's starting to fill slightly ahead of the, the, the tool. Alright, you can see that clear gap in front of the tool. That's where the resin's already started to pre-fill. And again, this is zoomed up quite a bit, so this crack may look big on your screen, but I'll back off here in a bit. And again, this tool is changing the viscosity of that resin by using both injector heads as it goes up this crack. 
so you get a nice good even blend all the way through. And again, you can see that gap right in front of the tool. That's where it's already started to fill in that resin ahead of it, which which is a good thing. If it's if it's doing that, you're going to get a nice, good looking repair. Starting to go up into the tinted area, and we're going to lose it here in a second. So actually, up above is where the actual rock hit was, and the crack spread down and along through here. So as of right now, he's going, to be, he's going to be repairing that other little spot that we can't see, and I can't get out because I might disturb the, the crack and create an air pocket on the inside, so we'll just have to wait till it's all done. We've got enough overcast today, as you can see behind us, that we're going to be using our big cure lamp, which we've got right over there. nice thing about that cure lamp is you see that gold ring on it. It actually has a suction cup built onto it so you can actually suck it down onto the glass once you've gotten it where you want on top of the crack. You can actually have it sucked down on there for you so you don't have to hold it. And with this cure lamp it won't take very long for this to cure. It's a nice big powerful cure lamp. Zoom out a little bit for you. And when you're doing these cracks, you don't want to just yank that tool off of there because, again, that can disturb the windshield. You actually want to use a screwdriver and just put it underneath the suction cup and slowly press against it till it breaks that seal. Because if you yank on it, you can disturb the crack and create an air pocket. So you just want to gently remove it. And that crack goes all the way up there. You can see that excess resin that's built up on top comes all the way down. That's all you have to do to suck that down is press that button a couple times that vacuums the air out and that secures that lamp on top on the glass. Again it's that top little streak right here. Alright, so now that the crack itself is repaired, you're going to put a little bit of pit filler where we drilled in, which is that tab right there, and then he'll put another one up on top, which is up behind here, where the actual rock hit to fill in that glass. Right now he's removing the excess resin and grease from the tool. Your repairs are never going to be perfectly done. I mean, that's they're never going to be crystal clear. You'll always be able to see a slight hairline where that crack was, but it's a big improvement over where it used to be. And the other thing is it keeps that from spreading, so it keeps you from having to buy another windshield. All right, now that we're cleaning this up,
All right, and you can kind of see on that McDonald's building, you can see that slight bend in that light. That's where that crack was, but I mean, you really don't even notice it. We are zoomed up a little bit, and it goes up right over in there. So that's the final product of the crack repair. For more information about our long crack injector technology with our multi-head injectors, go to windshieldrepairkits.net. Thank you.